And welcome back. So we have some updates on Alien Earth, the TV series that's been planned for a long time. So here's the updates. It looks like the story will take place before the events of the first Alien movie from 1979. So it's another prequel story. They plan to show eight episodes, and season one should start sometime in 2025. Here's a quick look at the cast. There's a bunch of new people for this TV series. I do remember seeing Timothy Oliphant a long time ago. He played the main character for the Hitman movie, which was based off a video game. That was back in 2007. A long time ago. We also have a very short teaser clip. It just shows the reflection of Earth on the head of a xenomorph. Possibly from an incoming ship that's been overrun by aliens, or maybe it's one alien that's hiding. Who knows, but yeah, it's really short. The design of the alien gives off this heavy use of CG. It just seems a bit off or overdone. There's just something about the picture where the alien just doesn't seem as real as the ones in Alien Romulus. We also have some information from two articles dating back to July 17th. This one is posted on Variety.com and this response is from Noah Hawley. We just wrapped production, so now I'm into the long post that gets into visual effects. It's a very big show. It's nice to have some time with it. The first year of anything, you want to feel like you're not up against the wall in terms of time. I've seen four of the eight hours of director cuts and engaged in the process of figuring out cinematically what it wants to be. It's one of my favorite parts of making a show. The next article is over on The Hollywood Reporter and Noah Hawley promises something special. We are wrapped. Just wrapped. I'm in post-editing away. And obviously, there's a large visual effects component that takes time. But I couldn't be happier with the show we shot. If people wanted a television series based on the world of Alien, I think I'm going to give them something special. Alien Earth was early into its production cycle in Thailand when the 2023 actor strike shut down the set. Scripts had all been written before writers struck in May. Filming resumed after management agreed to new contracts with the two unions. The series is slated to premiere sometime next year. When it does debut, it will be almost five years from FX chief John Langraff's announcement of the Alien Project in December of 2020. As the title suggests, series will be set on Earth and take place near the end of the 21st century before the events of Ridley Scott's 1979 space horror classic. Scott is an executive producer of the series via his Scott Free Company. Holly said in a January interview that the show will explore some of the same themes as that film, including the idea of humanity being trapped between its primordial parasitic past and its AI future, and they're both trying to kill us but its story won't be tied to those of Scott's two Alien prequel films, 2012's Prometheus and 2017's Alien Covenant. Holly has been on board from the start, and he told THR that it's crazy to think that it took three to five years to make the first season of Alien. I think that I set myself on a high bar dramatically to turn what is one of the great horror and action franchises in cinema into something that takes more time with character and theme, and does more than just create a horror story about trying to escape from death. And I'm very happy with how it turned out, and the performances that the actors gave, and the work of all the artisans. I can't wait for people to see it. The first season is out sometime in 2025, but no specific month yet. It's going to have 8 episodes, and we'll see how it does. The last thing I want to say is I could not find the rating they were going for with this TV series, if it's PG-13 or rated R. So if anyone knows, then put it in the comment section. So that's all the updates on the TV series Alien Earth. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.